Good morning guys. Today is going to be a video with just me. Zen is down for a nap. Eric is on baby duty. So for today's video, I just wanted to do like a postpartum chat while I get ready for the day. Um, kind of like my healing process, products that I like or have been using, and yeah. So just kind of a chill video today. Um, I just took a shower. I just put on some face lotion and my skin is really having issues. It is super dry and flaky, so we're just going to ignore that and pretend that the dry flakes are not there and I'm just gonna apply makeup over. <laughs> just gonna jump right into it. Don't mind how I do my makeup, I'm not freaking good by any means. Where should we start? Oh my goodness. So we can start at the hospital. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, I had a baby via C-section on January 28th. Um, I labored for 24 hours <clears throat> and then I ended up needing a C-section. So that was my first major operation. So starting out in the hospital, obviously it was near impossible to move. Eric had to pretty much do everything while we were in the hospital. You basically feel like you had like a killer ab workout. It wasn't really incisional pain at first. It was mainly just like cramping and like my muscle pain. So it was hard to get around when I was in the hospital and they put a binder on you. Um, and also one of my fears was that my incision was gonna open. <laughs> I don't know how often that happens, but that was definitely a fear of mine. So I was very careful. So I would say pain-wise, in the beginning, um, like still in the postpartum unit, it was only when I was getting in and out of bed that was when the pain was the worst. So moving on to coming home, I really needed Eric's help with a lot of things. Like I said, it was hard to get in and out of bed. Basically, when the baby would, would cry at night, Eric would get up, change his diaper, and then um, pass him to me to feed. So, because me getting in and out of bed was like a freaking nightmare. And then, on top of that, I don't know why I didn't know this or why I didn't think of this. I didn't realize that you still bled when you have a c-section i don't know like hello like duh so dealing with that um i am now five weeks postpartum and my bleeding has stopped i mean i get occasional but it's pretty much pretty much done so that's nice all i took for pain was pretty much just tylenol i mean they gave me prescription pain medications and i honestly only took that maybe once a day i pretty much took it at night so that i could get through the night like so i could get up and down yeah so that's pretty much that's pretty much it for like the c-section wise it just took some time for just my insides to sort themselves out and for me to get up and out of bed right now it's just super itchy which is obnoxious so i also want to talk about some products too that i've been liking first thing being what's it called nipple butter here i can grab my the organic nipple balm this is the one that i use one thing i wish i would have done and i wonder if it would have helped is I wish I would have started applying that right away even when I didn't think I needed it I'm pretty sure I brought that to the hospital but I didn't use it and I think maybe it would have helped if I would have brought it and started applying it right away just my two cents so that is really awesome I really like it I put a generous amount on so it's kind of like staining my nursing bras so just a heads up on that but it doesn't bother me because I don't really care about that another product that i really like is the haka i have it right here actually a silicone breast pump do you call it a breast pump it's not a pump but basically what you can do is when you're feeding on one side you can apply it to the other side and it kind of catches your your like let down the reason why i like that well one it's cheap and two it's easy to just put on instead of going and putting all your pump accessories together and the haka is a lot easier to wash than all of your little pump products also what was super helpful in the beginning is buying some high-waisted underwear like super high-waisted just so nothing was sitting on my incision another thing this is kind of random but i didn't think to buy different what's the word i'm looking for different size absorbent pads does that make sense because you, i just bought like the heaviest super duty ones 
but obviously as you progress your bleeding slows down so you don't need those heavy obnoxious ones yeah so i had to go out and buy different absorbent ones different what is the word i'm looking for different strengths i don't know the word i'm looking for i think you know what i'm talking about though and as far as how my body looks i definitely have obviously loose stretchy skin um i did get stretch marks um, I feel like they have faded a little bit, but they're still very much there. Another thing I didn't realize, this is TMI, but another thing I didn't know that would happen is the body odor. TMI, I know, but postpartum and actually during pregnancy, the body odor is real. It is real, okay? I don't know why. I'm sure there's a reason behind it. If somebody knows, educate us yeah definitely felt the need to take like two showers a day eric and i have started to incorporate some light activity kind of like exercising working out into our lives again the doctor even at my at my two week follow-up my doctor said i was cleared to do that and that's been kind of difficult for me before i got pregnant eric and i were pretty active we really enjoy working out and going to the gym i was a cheerleader for over 10 years so i've been pretty active my whole life being pregnant i tried to stay active as much as i could we definitely stayed up on our walks but as far as gym and weight lifting weights that was a negative for me i literally couldn't last 10 minutes and i was out for the count so we've been incorporating just some at-home workouts and let me tell you i feel so out of shape just taking it easy and doing what i can and not being so hard on myself which is something I think we all can practice on. During my pregnancy, I got really swollen in my face, or I gained a lot of weight, swollen, whatever, I don't know, whatever you wanna call it. I had some chunk in my face, and in the hospital, they were pumping me with so much fluid, and it blew up my face even more, and I was like, holy cow. And surprisingly, I feel like this, my the chunk and the, the swelling, well, I knew the swelling would go down, like from the hospital fluid, but I feel like I lost weight the quickest in my face for some reason. Um, I know everybody was like, you're gonna retain water, you're gonna like, it's okay, it's all gonna go away. I'm so sorry, this chair squeaky. But everybody was like, it's gonna go away, you know, don't worry about it. And I didn't believe them. I was like, no guys, I'm gaining weight. I'm have a little too much to eat, <laughs> feeding the baby too much, and I'm gaining weight. They were right, it kinda just like, just went away. Um, but like I said, not in my, my stomach area. I, I can like, you know, grab my skin and, you know, like my sides and stuff. So it's crazy thinking you used to be able to do like five to ten push-ups, literally no problem. And now it's like I struggle to do two. So I'm just, I'm ready for the challenge to see if I can get back to where I my strength was. I don't care about the number on the scale. I don't care how much I weigh. It's just I want, I really enjoy lifting weights and working out. So I just want to see if I can get my strength back. We want to get a uh, jogger stroller someday soon and incorporate some running into our lives. Maybe Zen will have fun with that. Or if this video is like all over the place. I know Freedom Mom has like a whole line of postpartum stuff. And there was only two things that I, that I, and I actually bought a lot of that stuff, but I returned some because I didn't have a vaginal delivery. But the two things that I used from the Freedom Mom are the Perry bottle and then I used the disposable like postpartum underwear. I liked those because, like I said about the high waisted underwear, they sat above my incision. So they didn't irritate my incision. And then obviously if I bled on them, I could just throw them away. Alrighty guys. I guess that's going to wrap up this video. Sorry if it was all over the place. If you have any questions or anything, I don't mind answering them. And um, if you're new here, if you made it to the end, congratulations to you because this video was a disaster. But if you are new here, we do usually vlog style videos of just lifestyle. We've been sprinkling in like some sit down videos here and there because we have the time since we're on leave. I hope you guys enjoyed this little chat and kind of like a get ready with me and I hope you guys have a good day. Bye!